So in this quick tech support video, we're going to take a look at arguably the most important thing on your mobile device, and that's going to be your data. I'm going to show you how to make sure that Facebook and Google are not tracking or holding or collecting your data of any kind, because that information is always so important and we don't want them doing that. But if you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment down below. It definitely helps the channel. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So the first app we're going to take a look at, of course, is Facebook, and they've been in the news recently about collecting user information but did you know that Facebook actually collects data from what you do outside of Facebook so if you have the application stored on your mobile device and you go into different applications outside of Facebook they actually track that information and a lot of people don't know that and a lot of people don't know how to turn it off so I'm going to show you that right now so one of the first things I want you to do is open up your Facebook application we're going to go to the hamburger type menu all the way at the top hit that we're going to go into settings and then privacy settings and then off Facebook activity. And you can see from this activity list that they're tracking what apps you go into, how frequently you open the apps, what apps you use on a daily basis. They basically track what you do on your phone via different applications that communicate that information back to Facebook for whatever reason. And that is a little weird and it's also a little intrusive. And I'm sure a lot of people don't know about it. So we're going to go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is actually clear the history of this and get that information off the Facebook. Facebook app completely and once that information is cleared we can actually take that a step further and block Facebook from tracking that information in the future just by going to the more options setting and then manage future activity and then we're going to go ahead and turn that option off by turning that option off it tells Facebook not to track your activity on your mobile device this is basically the same thing across all platforms so Android and iOS same functions are available to be turned off I would definitely recommend turning it off because the only thing it's really going to affect by the ads that they target you with anyway and who likes ads no one does so go ahead and shut that down so now facebook is by no means the only company that's taking a look at your information and data and giving you the i guess option to turn it off buried somewhere deep in their settings google does the exact same thing so on an android device what you're going to do is go into the settings once you're in the settings you're going to look for a google account and then you're going to go to manage your google account and then in the data and personalization application you can actually go through and manage each individual activity control and this is basically you know taking a look at the websites that you visit the web searches that you do it also takes a look at your location information and Google says it uses all this information to improve their data but again it could just be targeted ads for stores you go into websites you visit and videos that you watch because they also take a look at your YouTube data so videos that you're watching prolonged staying on for a long time videos that you watch more than often, videos that you watch longer than other videos. They take all this information and they kind of feed it to their affiliates and companies so they can better market their products to you. So you can go through and make adjustments to these personal settings just to turn off whatever information. Again, you don't want them to have. It's your data. You should be in full control. Hopefully someday they'll make these settings a little bit more accessible. But for the most part, now you kind of have to dig to find them, which kind of tells you they're doing something wrong. But either way, Hopefully this video helps you kind of get control of your data just a little bit more. Again, if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And of course, comment down below on what you think about these companies holding and using your data. Do you not mind? Do you do mind? Do you not know about it at all? Comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you guys think. And as always, thank you so much for checking out the video. And until I see you guys next time, stay safe and peace out.